Why hello there Carla and Molly. How can I help the two of you today? We would like to see the teenagers next door right now. Yeah. Send them down right now. Okay. Can the two of you please explain what did the teenagers next door do this time? Well Penelope, so you see, it all started a couple of weeks ago when Andrew attacked and assaulted my little brother named Josh when he and his friends are at his preschool. He screamed at him just because he and his friends are innocent. And what's worse, is that he and Ethan attempted to assassinate them. Andrew and Ethan are nothing but entitled Karens. And what's worse about Isabel, is that she attempted to stab your baby brother, your friends and our baby siblings with her sword. And to start the worst part about Orion and Early, is that they attacked and slaughtered Melody Amble's beloved turkeys because Melody Amble has autism. Now Melody Amble is feeling miserable and is laying down like a wet sock balling because of Orion and Early killing turkeys. Have they lost their minds right now? Killing and slaughtering turkeys? This is just heartbreaking. What? Did Early and Orion kill Melody Amble's turkeys just because Melody Amble has autism? Yes they did, Carla and I saw Early and Orion killed Melody Amble's turkeys with our eyes. Let me guess, is this all of it true? And who are the teenagers next door by the way? Yep. Yeah. They all cause too much trouble enough. And we would also like to find out the truth about them. Well Penelope. The teenagers next door are troublemakers who don't give a crap how heartbroken they made all of us and even to society. You see, Andrew Arrer Ackerman is the leader of the teenagers next door, and he claims to be the smartest man in the world and he doesn't let other people win. Just because he's the leader of his gang, that doesn't mean he's always perfect. And speaking of being smart and perfect, Ethan at Edmund also did the exact same thing that his leader Andrew did, and he always serves no sense of purpose at all cost. I know this is getting over for Victoria and Melody, but when Isabel Ivy Iron started calling everyone an object head term back in 2018, those terms are getting too funny and that everyone decided to hop into that trend. Thank God those terms ended in 2022, considering why Isabel brainwashed Victoria for no damn reason. But seriously, Isabel is going to be blamed for this. And we should have known that Isabel is actually using autism as an excuse and she balls like a baby over everything. And the worst part, is that Orion and Early are the so-called obsessed Adam Lion and his zoo animal friends Ultra 2.0 and are the richest couple in the world as well as Isabel, Ethan and Andrew. That is the most disgusting thing that Courtney, Cecile, Timothy, Crystal, Sakura, Yui, Yuna, Ichika, Brianna, Liana and Tiana all have ever seen. Not to mention that the teenagers next door all wanted us to praise them like God like a slave. Are they out of their mind? And so, we have contacted the police to come to the Vion school today to place all five of them under arrest. No. Both of you are joking. This cannot be happening like that. The teenagers next door did all of this. I can't believe it. Of all the things the teenagers next door did, I would have never expected them to go as far by becoming entitled delinquents to society and then commit murder and attempted murder. They have seriously went too far now. I can't believe I have attempted murderers and murderers at this school. You know damn what. I think it's time that we get the teenagers next door arrested once and for all. Molly and Carla, thank you both so much for telling me this. I'm going to call them to my smartest office right now. Both of you may now be dismissed. We should go to the mall and tell this to our friends and even to the rest of the cheer and destiny girls, Carla. Carla and Molly, have fun at the mall. I'll join you there when I am done from my smartest office. Andrew Arrer Ackerman, Ethan Ed Edmund, Isabel Ivy Iron, Orion Oval Brian and Early Uncan Arrogantly. All five of your entitled delinquents. Get your asses into my smartest office right now. Andrew, Ethan, Isabel, Orion and Early, I recently had a talk with Molly Peterson and Carla Hitman of the Molly Gang, and they said that you had the full audacity to become entitled delinquents and to murder Melody Amble's turkeys and did horrible stuff. Like, are the five of you serious right now? Becoming entitled Karens at first then becoming entitled delinquents and then had the damn audacity to commit murder, 
attempted murder and other horrible stuff to society. Of all the things the five of you have done so far right now, I would have never expected the five of you to commit murder, attempted murder and so much more. Andrew Arrera Ackerman, Orion Overlay Bran, Isabel Ivy Iron, Early Uncomergently and Ethan Ed Edmund, I have had it with the five of you right now. All five of you are now officially expelled from this school. Permanently. And I have already notified your parents about what all five of you did. All five of you are considered to be the worst students anyone could have ever asked for. Get out, right now. <coughs> Jocelyn and Pepper, both of you get your asses into my office right now. What's going on Principal Penelope? Pepper and Jocelyn, I saw the two of you said a death threat to your teacher during health class. What do the two of you have to say for yourselves? We're so sorry, Principal Penelope. We were trying our best to improve our behaviors and not be a part of the teenagers next door anymore. I understand that you're trying your best to improve your behaviors, but that doesn't change the fact that the two of you would go by saying death threats to your teacher during health class. And for that, the two of you will be suspended until winter break is over. Go home right now, I will be notifying your mothers and your aunts. No fair! Wow. That's done for. But I still hope the police will come to the teenagers next door's house soon. I just know it. Andrew, how dare you get officially expelled from school permanently for becoming an entitled delinquent and then commit murder and attempted murder. You are grounded for the rest of your life. Go to your room right now and think about how many victims you have traumatized. Wow. Ethan, how dare you get officially expelled from school permanently for becoming an entitled delinquent and then commit murder and attempted murder? You are grounded for the rest of your life. Go to your room right now and think about how many victims you have traumatized. Wow. Isabel. How dare you get officially expelled from school permanently for becoming an entitled delinquent and then commit murder and attempted murder. You are grounded for the rest of your life. Go to your room right now and think about how many victims you have traumatized. Wow. Orion, how dare you get officially expelled from school permanently for becoming an entitled delinquent and then commit murder and attempted murder. You are grounded for the rest of your life. Go to your room right now and think about how many victims you have traumatized. No! Early, how dare you get officially expelled from school permanently for becoming an entitled delinquent and then commit murder and attempted murder. You are grounded for the rest of your life. Go to your room right now and think about how many victims you have traumatized. Wow. Jocelyn, we can't believe you got suspended from school for saying death threats to your teacher during health class. How many times do we have to tell you, stop going down the same path and try to improve your behavior along with your best friend Pepper. You are grounded until your winter break from school is over. Go upstairs to your room right now and think about what you did. Wow. Pepper, we can't believe you got suspended from school for saying death threats to your teacher during health class. How many times do we have to tell you, stop going down the same path and try to improve your behavior along with your best friend Jocelyn? You are grounded until your winter break from school is over. Go to your room right now and think about what you did young lady. No fair! Wow.